seed bombs. So this is the mister's idea. He wanted to plant seed bombs way back in the back of our property and see if it would just grow unattended. Everything would just flourish. And he threw these in here in February. Then we had the freeze, thought everything died and it did not. So we've got sunflowers and then we have clusters of stuff. We have rainbow shard in there. We have sunflowers with corn. We have yellow squash, yellow squash. Then we have corn mixed with tomato plants in several spots. This is squash. Just flowers everywhere, more. So he, what he does is he makes a mud ball with seeds and then comes out here and just chunks it at this hill that he made. More tomatoes with corn. It seems to be working. I think they're overcrowded, but the object of the game is to see if, uh, even with the overcrowded, if they'll produce. And there's squash on there. I'm not sure how he's gonna harvest everything. I mean, there's a pretty good size one down there. So we have tons of bees in the flowers this morning. He, oh, yeah, that's working, look. Wow, totally working. Um, it's called Gorilla Gardening. He's watched a lot of videos on it. Tons of tomatoes just crammed together. Everything is very healthy, so we'll see. We'll see if his Gorilla Gardening works. I'm interested to see if the tomatoes were produced. So, so far, the squash and the zucchini are producing. So I would call that a success. This is what I'm wondering, is will the corn and the tomatoes cohabitate together and still produce?